I hate to make everyone sad right now, but I uh, I didn't want to cover this uh, this sad news story, chap. Don Sutherland, uh, an amazing actor who has worked for decades, both in film and television, has has sadly passed away at the at the age of 88. And I'll just read this Variety article for right now and give you some context and uh, context and perspective, and then we can talk about his, his career and some of our uh, uh, favorite films that that you know he's made that he's been featured in. But Don Sutherland, star of Mash, Clute, Hunger Games, dies at 88. Don Sutherland, the tall, lean, and long-faced Canadian actor. I did not know he was Canadian. I thought he was American. That's okay though. Who became a countercultural icon with such films as The Dirty Dozen, Mash, Clute, and Don't Look Now and who subsequently enjoyed a prolific and wide-ranging career in films, including Ordinary People Without Limits. When the Hunger Games films died Thursday in Miami after a long illness, CAA confirmed. I didn't know he was sick. He was 88 years old. Still, 88 years old. That's a, that's a, that's a very long and successful life. For over half a century, the Emmy and Golden Globe winning actor who received an honorary Oscar in 2017. Oh, that's good. He got an honorary Oscar. That's nice. Remember, he played villains, antiheroes, romantic leads, and mentor figures. His profile increased in the past decade uh, with his supporting role as the evil president Snow in the Hunger Games franchise, which he was consistently great across like all those, all those movies. He made a really good villain. Most recently, he appeared as Judge Parker on the series Lawmen Bass Reeves. Oh, that's interesting. And the Swimming with Sharks series in 2022. His other recent recurring roles include the series Undoing and Trust, in which he played J. Paul Getty. It features uh, Ad Astra and Burnt Orange Hearsay. So then, uh, won a supporting actor Emmy for HBO's Citizen X in 1995. He was also nominated in 2006 for the Lifetime miniseries Human Trafficking. After what Sutherland called a meandering little career, including roles in low-budget horror picks like 963's Castle of the Living Dead and 965's Die, Die, My Darling, Helena Parr is one of the bottom six in 1967's The Dirty Dozen. He was great in that movie. Sutherland told The Guard in 2005 that he originally had one line in the film until Clint Walker refused to play a scene requiring him to impersonate a general. According to Sutherland, director Robert Aldrich, who didn't know his name, suddenly turned to him and said, You! You with the big ears, you do it. <laughs> The smart alecky role was a perfect fit for Sutherland, whose wolfish sideways smile and boyish charm caught the attention of producer Inyo Premier, who cast him as the anti-authoritarian surgeon Captain Hawkeye Pierce in 1970's comedy smash hit MASH. MASH turned Sutherland and co-star Elliot Gould, who played Captain Trapper, uh, John, into major stars. But the tradition-bound actor had trouble adjusting to director Robert Altman's improvisational and often chaotic approach. Of course, Sutherland, Altman tried to fire him during the shoot, but Premier held firm. In a 1976 Playboy interview, Altman gave a different view, recalling that Sutherland loved his directorial style. His improvisation was profound. Altman said he's a hell of an actor. And, you know, they continue to talk about the rest of his, uh, his career. 1970, great action film, Kelly's Hero, Sutherland, joined Clint Eastwood, betraying Sergeant Oddball, an absurdly conceived but scene-stealing proto-hippie tank commander. Sutherland retained with Eastwood 2007, Space Cowboys. Boys, this time playing a former hotshot pilot. Um... 1971's Clue, a thriller character study directed by Alan J. Pakula and co starring Jane Fonda. Still emerged as a credible romantic leading man. He betrayed a troubled detective who falls in love with a girl, Fonda, whom he's protecting from a sadistic killer. Uh, Nicholas Rogue's influential 1973 psychological horror film, Don't Look Now. Sutherland's intriguing passivity and pared-down actor style helped highlight Julie Christie's performance. They betray a grieving married couple who flee to England, uh, to Venice, after the death of their little girl. And um, continue on uh, to like more of his his career and talking about uh, uh, one of my favorite films of his, which is the uh, I believe it was the 1978 Invasion of the Body Snatchers uh, remake, which I personally love. And of course, you know, most recently, uh, other noteworthy uh, roles include Present Snow and The Hunger Games 2012 and its sequels, Safe Crack and the Italian Job. The father in Six Degrees of Friction, that's right, he was great in that. Stylish safe cracker in The Great Train Robbery, and uh, NN, lead in Philip Coffin's 1978 remake of Vision by Snatchers, which I personally love, a haunting ending. Um, and, of course, talking about his, his son, Keith Sutherland, and um, and the the movie that they appeared in, A Time to Kill. Oh, I forgot about that. He turned down and off to play the father, Keeper's character, Jack Byron, 24. His son's sexual TV series, the two appeared together in 2014, Western Forsaken. So, yeah, a, a very long and rich career in, in film and in television. And I know he was a philanthropist. I know he was a humanitarian as well, Chad. And, you know, just a, a, a genuine and, and, and good person who has spent 
uh, the majority of his life providing so much entertainment to so many people, and, and including myself. And um, yeah, it's uh, he's just you know it's just, it's he's just like one of those actors. I mean, he was he's been around forever, <laughs> you know. And sometimes you know it, you'd be like, oh yeah, you're reminded because you know he he wasn't always like you know the leading man and like every like big thing out there. A lot of the times he was playing like a a secondary character, a tertiary character. Certainly in the case, you know, in his in his in his latter career, but he always did manage to like stand out. And he always reminded me like, oh yeah, Tom Selleck, he, he he is really talented, right? And um, yeah, a lot of a lot of his his roles are endlessly entertaining, and this article just nailed it. Yeah, there's like this uh, um, interesting nature to a lot of his characters. Uh, I guess they are uh, oddballs, you know, very odd and, and and weird and and strange. But I think at the same time, that's what made them s- stand out. You know, they could be cunning or conniving or even even very villainous, or he could play like a lot of these you know warm characters, which they highlighted as as well. So. Yeah, but for for me, like when it comes to some of my favorite movies of his, I mean, definitely Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I, I love that film. It's a fantastic '70s horror remake. That's really really good. Kelly's Heroes. He's fantastic and it's an excellent war movie. Dirty Dozen. He's very good. And even though he's seen, it's a you know it's a small role, he's still excellent in it. As you know, along with the rest of the cast. And yeah, Don't Look Now is a, is a really really cool and interesting and, and disturbing horror film, which, you know, he's obviously great in, too. And there, there's so many there's so many movies. Well, you guys, what are your thoughts on Donald Sutherland's uh, sad passing? Um, but what are some of your favorite films of his, some of his career highlights? There are many, many. Let's see what you guys are saying. Hamilton, I knew him best, President of the Hunger Games. I feel like for a lot of younger people, they probably bet know him best for the Hunger Games movies just because, you know, they're, they're so recent. And so he was the main he was the main villain. Let's see here. Katria Hawn Hands. Good to see you, Katria. You're only happy tappy dino dance. We're just talking about Donald Sutherland. He recently passed away, apparently from a from a, a long uh, illness that he's had. Yeah, we'll definitely watch Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I think we should do that. We should watch Don't Look Now. I think those would be pretty fun. Even if someone hasn't seen Night Seventy Eight Body Snatchers movie, they have seen the, they've seen the meme. They've seen the meme. That, that scene. That scene is just oh, it's it's, it's incredible. So it's a, a wonderful way to ho- end a horror film. My internet's still down, so, oh, no. I'm sorry to hear about the internet, Katria. Same with me yesterday. I have dealing with those internet issues. Pain in the ass. But good to have you here. I hope your internet comes back. Who else is here? Smash your pass, Chris, on Dull Sutherland? Oh, smash. <laughs> smash. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know what? Another movie of his that he's really good in that I, I often forget he's in. Every time I say, it's like, oh, yeah, he's in this. Animal House. He's really, really good in Animal House. He plays the 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 professor. We see his butt. You want to see a naked Donald Sutherland, Chad? You want to see Don Sutherland's butt and and you know schlong? By the way, he's a he's a shower, not a grower, Chad. It's like God damn, you know he was he was well endowed. He was he you know he was he was a very tall man in more ways than one. I was like my lord, that's true. I forget he's in Animal House. Um. He has spent a lot of the latter part of his career as the guy who shows up to, uh, to give a little gravitas and then have his character die and get a nice paycheck. That's kind of the, the dream. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Katria, I won't be able to join the movie watch. Oh, no, let's make it comes back. I hope it comes back on. Hope it comes back on, Katria. Keep us updated. Keep us keep, keep us posted. Always great to have you here, though. I'll still be streaming for a little while still. I still got to do my review for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and... Um, I'll do the initial part of my review for uh, uh, the Spice World. More talking about the, the album itself, its history, and and my thoughts on some of the songs, and then we'll eventually um, transition over to um, uh, the Discord. But I hope you are able to join us. Always great having you there. Always great uh, to have you for these conversations, funny jokes and memes. His appearance in The Simpsons was amazing. Oh, I'm trying to remember like when he when he showed up in The Simpsons. Was he just playing himself, or was he like a specific character? Uh, let's see here. Chris, there, backdraft, Pride and Prejudice, Rain Over Me. Uh, Bishop Sycamore says, Don't Look Now is so good. It's outside my top ten. It's really good. And it was called Old as Fuck. It is long as... No, it is. No, I mean, that's the thing. It's, like, obviously as sad as his passing is. And, obviously, you know, condolences of the family and everything. They must be going through a very difficult time. Still, 88, hell of a year to make it to. You know, you have this incredible body of work that's going to be remembered. And people are going to be watching these, enjoying these movies, you know, uh, uh... Uh, studying these in, in, in film school and editing. So, you know, his legacy is just uh, 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 reaffirmed, reaffirmed. 
in the pop culture zeitgeist. Mash, of course. Chris, I'm fucking dead, goes. <laughs> He's going outbreak too. Oh, yeah, outbreak. Yeah. Chris things every limp long noodle in a show. <laughs> Look at how subtle in his movies are in the 60s and 70s. He was a handsome. No, yeah. Yeah, he had that wolfish grin, as the author said. Uh, he was a talent job. He even tried using my phone. Was oh, but I'm like, damn, sorry, Katria. JFK. It's been a while since I've seen JFK. Yeah, maybe it's the. He, I think it's a, it's a combination of, I think, a lot of factors. He's on the episode where Lisa finds out Jebediah Springfield's a fraud. Oh, shit. I, I, I think I have seen that one. I think I have. That sounds familiar. That does feel familiar. Or a boss is a perfect example of what I said earlier about him showing up for one scene as Colin Farrell's dad to deliver the goods. And then, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I like, I like that. I like a little part of that movie. Um, But yeah, at the end of the day, chat. Obviously, sad that Donald Sutherland has passed away. But what a legacy to leave behind. Oh, yeah, we'll do, we'll, we should do some watch parties for some of his movies. I think that'd be fun. I want to, I actually wouldn't mind watching. Uh, it's It's been a quite a long time since I've watched Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the 78 film. 